No matter what area of our life it is, we like to see progress. Whether it is physical progress or just checking off a to-do list, finishing a book, we all like to see our hard work pay off. There is no better way to do this than to track our progress. I picked out three key areas that we all can track. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a special tip that will help us be more consistent in these three areas. All right, area one is health and fitness. And this is something that we can all do regardless of whether we need to gain weight or lose weight, whether we're an athlete or we've never played a sport before, we all can find goals of something that we can track within our health and fitness. As I give you this list of ideas, try to pick out one or two that best fits your situation and aligns with your goals. And if you'd rather come up with your own ideas, that's great too, but I think these are a really good place to start. The first one is super easy and it's track your weight. A lot of us are trying to gain weight or lose weight. You might wanna be actually recording your weight on a regular basis if you want to stay on top of these goals. Second thing is track the amount of water you're drinking. Find a water bottle that you like and just see how many times you can drink it per day. And if you have a goal of how many ounces you wanna drink, um, it's pretty easy to track. So that's just a super simple one. Another one is tracking when you work out or how often you work out. This could just be tracking the days you go to the gym, the uh, days you get out for a walk, the amount of runs you go on per week, you know, whatever it is. I think that tracking um, when we work out is, a, is just super helpful so we can look back and see, oh, I only worked out twice last week and I won the workout three times. Third one is tracking weights, reps, distance, or time within those workouts. This is super helpful because if I go to the gym, um, I might be thinking, oh, well, what workout did I do last week for back and shoulders or chest or whatever, and I don't remember, or I don't remember the weight or the reps on, on the machine. So um, stuff like that is just super helpful if you're tracking it weekly. That way you don't just have to remember everything. And then it's also super good because you can actually see your progress over time. And that way it'll be easy to choose the right amount of weight or reps to challenge yourself for the next week. Or if you're a runner, what did you run last week and how fast did you run? Um, what do you wanna do this week? It's just super easy if you're actually recording that. So that way you're not guessing what you need to do this week. The fourth thing is tracking with pictures. So maybe you wanna look a certain way physically, you want to get um, be better in shape or um, grow your muscles bigger, whatever it is. I think it's super cool to actually take a picture of yourself in the mirror um, consistently, whether you wanna do it every week or every month and do that for a long time period, just so you can visibly see the progress. I think this is a super good idea as well. Okay, and the fifth one here is tracking your diet. So maybe you're not super into working out, but you want to start eating better. Or maybe you're working out a lot, but you're not eating enough or taking in enough protein. I think tracking the food you eat would be super helpful with those goals. Like I said, no matter what your situation is, there is something that you could track. For me personally, this looks like tracking my workouts, um, when I work out, and then also what lifts I did and what reps um, in Notion. And then also I track my yoga and my running on my Apple Watch because it just records those workouts so I can just tally them up at the end of the month. But this is just super helpful for me because like I said, with the weights and reps, I know what I did um, last week so I can kind of set it to what I need to do um, this week. Whatever it is for you, whatever goal you have, I think there's something that you can start tracking. So just find something and just start tracking it. All right, area two is your finances. So there's really only one super important thing that I think every person should be tracking and it's your income and your expenses. So this doesn't need to be a perfect, super complex budget, but just knowing the basics of what is coming in each month and what is going out is super helpful to your financial health. There is a ton of budgeting apps that will track your expenses and your income for you, and they'll actually pull from your bank account. I'm gonna make a video really soon about the best budgeting apps, so stay tuned for that. Personally, I use Excel to track my income and expenses and to do my budget because I didn't really love the apps, but this is a lot more work than a lot of the apps because I'm physically typing in um, all my transactions as you see, but 
I could potentially see myself going back to an app or some type of software in the future because as you get older, you get more expenses and it just gets more complex. So this works really great for me now, but I could change to something else in the future. I just want to really emphasize this, that you have to, have to start tracking your income and expenses. Because if you don't, you really have no idea of what you're spending on food or gas every month. You could be just be depleting your savings and you don't even really notice because you don't notice that you're spending more than you're bringing in. So this is just super important because I don't think you'll ever start really saving or investing your money until you realize where your money's actually going. And it might surprise you if you record all of your transactions in a month to see how much you're spending on food or what or clothing or whatever your top spending category is because honestly if you get one thing out of this video it would be tracking your income and your expenses i think it's that important and so there's a couple other things that i track with my finance and one of them is my giving so as a christian this is just super important to me and i just wanted to see if i could give um, more and more every year so I wanted to start tracking it but I also track my net worth which is kind of fun I just add up my um, bank accounts in my investment accounts um, every month and just so I can see kind of where my net worth is and how it fluctuates over time and then I also started tracking my portfolio performance just so I could see um, how it performs compared to the S&P 500 but honestly this can get kind of complex so if you just look at what your app says for your performance um, year to day or monthly or the one year, three year, whatever, that is gonna be um, perfectly fine for 99% of people. And lastly, a kind of funny one, but I track my total credit card rewards, um, including like sign up bonuses and the cash back I'm receiving, just so I can see this over time and see how much money um, credit cards have earned me. This one's just kind of funny. I don't think you really need to do this, but if you're a finance nerd and you like looking at numbers, like go for it. But yeah, like I said, the main takeaway here is track your income and expenses. Before we get to the last thing that you should track, I just wanted to say that if you wanna see more videos like this, as well as a few Notion videos and a budgeting app video, please consider subscribing so you'll get those future videos. All right, part three is track your goals. And I realize that some of this um, already could be covered um, if you had finance goals or if you had fitness goals, and those are great, but I think there's also other goals that you can be tracking in your life. These could be super um, big things like maybe you're starting a small business or some type of side hustle project that you want to be doing more of. Or it could be something a little bit more simpler, like reading every night, or even um, picking up a hobby, um, learning an instrument, you know, um, becoming a better singer. Whatever it is, I think there's just tons of things that we want to do in our life that we say we want to do, but then we really never commit to. And I think if we start tracking those, we'll be much better at actually accomplishing them. So really think about the things outside of school and work that you want to do more of or be better at. Those are the things that you should start tracking. So three things that aren't um, fitness and finance related for me that I track would be my um, YouTube progress, whether it is the amount of watch hours I have and the number of subscribers I have, or just how consistent I am with posting a video. And then I also track the amount of pages I read every day or whether I read it all, um, the amount of books I'm reading during a year or um, how many I wanna read per month, um, things like that. And then lastly, I track my screen time every month, which I think is super helpful. So whatever you want to do or whatever your goals are, find something that you can track. All right, so here is my special tip and it is monthly check-ins. This will really help you be more consistent with tracking these goals and habits. All right, first thing, schedule an hour or an hour and a half block on your calendar at the end of every month, and then make it repeating so you never miss doing this. So with this monthly check-in, you can actually see how you did during the month. So for me, I wanna do yoga every morning. Since my watch tracks it, I can just count the amount of times I have yoga workouts and then I can record that out of 30 or 31 or however many days we're in that month. So whatever the frequency is, whether you want to do it 
every day or every three days, once a week, maybe just once a month thing, you can see how you did at the end of the month and just look back. And also when you're inputting these, whether it's a daily or a weekly goal, I would also include like a, a note section or maybe potentially like reasons for why you didn't accomplish it. Like sometimes really big things pop up. This monthly check-in is basically a grading report at the end of the month to see um, where you need to put more work in and then just see your overall progress with your goals. I think self-reflecting or self-assessment is a really important thing and this monthly check-in just gives you a chance to do that every month but it also has another added benefit. In the book Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about building habits by making them more satisfying. And while goals and habits aren't exactly the same thing, I think this definitely applies to our goals. So if we make our goals more satisfying, we'll be more likely to do them. And one way that we can make our goals satisfying is tracking them. Because for me personally, it's super rewarding and satisfying to track my habits every month. I actually look forward to my monthly check-ins at the end of the month because I wanna see what progress I made or where I need to get better at. So that really is one of the driving reasons for why I made this video and why I want you to start tracking your goals. So those are the three things that everyone should be tracking every month. Your fitness and health, your finances, and your goals. Now you have some high level ideas of what you can start tracking. And if you want to see um, how I keep track of my day-to-day -day tasks, you can just click this video right over here to see my simple task management system. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.